Hey guys, what's up? It's Chris Bruton again here with uh, another video. Got a new product I'm trying out. Saw this at Bass Pro when I was at the uh, the store a couple uh, days ago for Lawrence, and uh, this is kind of cool. I had a suction mount on my last boat, and I hadn't put anything on this one at all. Um, so I was looking for a, a new one, and I saw this on the counter, and decided to go ahead and pick it up. This is called the uh, the Power Stick Yolo by Yolo Tech. Zoom in a little bit. TH Marine owns it. Yolo Tech Power Stick. So this works with your action cameras for your boat, so you can record all day long. Um, you don't have to change out batteries and all that good stuff. But it's pretty cool. So the good thing is it works. If you look on here, it works for. Um, Two pin and three pin nav ports. Powers all your different types of action cameras. Um, secures up to speeds of 70 miles an hour. You gotta, you know, it extends, but you gotta compress it for that. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So it extends from 32 inches to, uh, or 32 and a half to 53 inches. It's got a ball and socket. So it's pretty cool. Here's kind of what it'll look like on the boat, you know, when you're out on the water. But very simple. So the other thing it's got, it comes with these different collars. Let me grab them real quick. <clears throat> I didn't have to use them for mine, but it comes with these two different collars on the on the stick itself. And all you do, there's a little small screw at the bottom of it. You take that small screw off, like you're probably used to with your nav light. That goes in these little um, these little holes right here. And you adjust it for the height of your of your light um, depth. So mine went on to the diagram here. My screw went in hole number four. So that's where it fits. Yours may be different. All you got to do is adjust it. But here's how I set it up. Um, I had a little lanyard keeper. This will in case um, you know it comes off, but I don't think it will. But so I got the lanyard keeper on there. And see how it hooks up. It's got a, um, it's got like a little ball ram mount type deal here, and this has that 3M tape on it. So that's why I put the the lanyard deal on there. I didn't want to uh, have that come off. Let me zoom There we go. I didn't want to have this come off the sticky stuff and now lose my camera. So um, this little wire lanyard works pretty good. It'll keep on this screw. So in case this tape comes off it'll still keep my camera yeah it'll probably get wet and probably ruined but I still still have my camera um so the cool thing is if you'll notice the light is red on here the camera's off but it's just sitting in the garage I have my uh the power's on but I have my my anchor light turned on and the anchor light's what powers it and powers your battery charges your battery in there so Looking from this side, kind of different. So here's the, uh, let me kind of spin this around so I can articulate it. So here you got your little ball. You can spin this around however you want to. Man, I'm all over the place. All right, so you can spin it around and you can angle it how you want to. Mine's got the little touch screen in the back so you can see the window. On there, you can get it just how you, you know, how you want to get your view. But you'll notice in the back, it's got green light for power. And uh, my just USB cord plugs into the side of the camera. And you just, you know, set it up how you want to. Turn my camera on real quick. So I turn my camera on. And then you can see, if you look through the camera, you can see my the view so if I wanted to change the angle of it a little bit and then when I I hit record I put mine on loop so I hit record go start fishing and whatever or you know if I'm just driving around doing a video on driving that'll be pretty cool to see where I'm going and all that good stuff but then like say I catch a fish or something and uh, I have it on the loop I can come back show the fish to the camera put the fish in right in my live well right here it'll show all that and then uh, I can hit 
the record button again and it'll save that loop right there. So it'll save when I caught the fish, show the fish to the camera. It'll save um, putting it in live and all that. So it's good for tournaments too. You know, in case anybody wants to question your abilities. But I think it's pretty cool. But yeah, oh, so it extends also. It's got these little, these little um, tripod type deals. <clears throat> you just open them up, extend it, oops. You don't do it with one hand, but you get the idea. And you can make it go way up there, but it'll actually go a little further. But it goes up to 53 inches. Can't do it with one hand, but it's pretty cool. So Yolo Tech, I think it was like 80 bucks. I think it was Bass Pro, something like that. Wasn't too bad. So I know I'm gonna use my action camera a lot more now because I can use this. The only bad thing is um, obviously since it goes in place of your light, you can't do too many night shots. Early morning launch and all that stuff because you have your light in. So that's the only bad thing. Unless I get one of them uh, Russell Marine deals, stick it up there. Then I'll be good to go and I don't have to worry about it. Just wondering how I tie that into the light and all that. But I'm going to do some research. Maybe that's the route I'll go. One bad thing about that is I have power pole covers. And I know if I put the uh, the light on my deal, then it also means I'll have to get another cover, which I don't want to do that. So probably just stick with what I got. Do some, keep this at the ready. Um, once I put my light up or whatever for the day, I can go ahead and run this YOLO tech. It's got a nice little grippy deal right there. But Pretty cool, man. Nice product. I like it. So check it out. If you're looking for something to mount your action camera, I guess it fits different, <clears throat> a bunch of different brands too. So that's kind of cool. You see, I got mine in Bass Pro Shops here in Round Rock. It's my local Bass Pro. So that's it. Pretty cool. Check it out. Look at it. Just plug it in right into your nav port. Oh, so the different, I'm going to show you that. So the different, you may have a different deal than mine. So if you do, it comes with these adapters. This one, you know, a wedge in there. And this one, I noticed when I was at Bass Pro, this one fits the nitros. So they got the kind that screws in. So if you got that type, you just put this in, keep that on the collar, slide it in, and roll it. And I tighten it up. So, yeah, back to those. All right, you got any questions, let me know. Once again, it's the uh, Power Stick by Yolo Tech and TH Marine. Pretty good. All right, later.